Hey dudes and dudettes, here with another Path of Exile unique item video for you. This one's going to be on the Nycta's Lantern, the unique Crystal Scepter. So, Nycta's Lantern, Crystal Scepter, one-handed mace, quality plus 2%, physical damage 31 to 46, critical strike chance 6.8%, attacks per second 1.20. Requires level 41, so the level is quite steep. It's mid-level. 59 is strength and 85 int. You can see there that it's going to take a, a pretty good investment of int and a moderate investment of strength, so not everyone's going to be able to be using this. 20% increased elemental damage. That's the implicit mod for the Crystal Scepter. Gems in this item are supported by level 10 added fire damage. Gems in this item are supported by level 10 cold to fire. Gems in this item are supported by level 10 fire penetration. 29% uh, increased spell damage, plus 10 life gained for each enemy hit by your attacks. 25% increased light radius. Uh, I used this on my totem user, and uh, this uh, for before I could afford some other things. But this is actually hugely based on uh, you know doing a lot of fire damage and elemental fire damage. Uh, you can see because the added fire, cold to fire, fire penetration, uh, all the gems in this are socketed and get the the bonuses of those. Uh, which makes it quite quite insane for uh, you know mod uh, you know mid level fire user, and uh, the 25% increased light radius is pretty cool too. And uh, of course you have the 20% increased elemental damage and 20% increased spell damage is the reason I used it for my uh, totems. So if you are in you know making a fire build or anything, you might check this out. It could be a cheap alternative because it goes for very little because not a lot of people use it, and who knows you know you might find a build with it that's pretty cool. Left in her tomb by the lynch mob, the flame inside still blazed bright after her death, and so did hers. Uh, so Nycta was obviously a character that was left in her tomb by a lynch mob, and it's talking about how the lantern didn't go out and and she still lived in that tomb. She, you know, she was still, you know, <laughs> even and, and you know even after death, you know, she was still burning bright or whatever <clears throat> so uh, I, I would assume that maybe her soul's still intact or something maybe we'll find out more about Nick to later on in time uh, that, that could be pretty cool a uh, character that was you know who knows if she was wrongfully accused of something and is locked up in the tomb and and or, or if she wasn't and uh, she did with did evil and stuff so she could be a good or bad person depending on what happened down there and you know you could run into her soul sort of like you did with maybe fair graves like a ghost you know or the karui in the library so i hope you found that interesting and take care be safe and be cool to each other